Hello friends, welcome back. We're here to review our second step skills. We're going to look at our poem, review our amazing words, and then get ready to read. Let's get started. In second step, we reviewed the skills for learning. We listened to our learner song and remembered how to focus our attention, how to be assertive, how to use self-talk. Also reviewed empathy. Compassion is empathy in action. It helps us to understand another person's feelings and another person's thoughts. We've been reminding ourselves on how to calm down when we have a big feeling in our body. And then, of course, fair ways to play. Tell me the three fair ways to play, please. That's right. And then we're practicing being a problem solver at home, picking the best solution for ourselves and teaching our family to be a problem solving team. Well done, I'm proud of you for doing that. Our poem this week is Patty Cake, Patty Cake. I'll read it and you can follow along with me, okay? Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Dumper Dan. Dump me some dirt as fast as you can. Slide it, drop it, and mark it DD and pile it in the lot for Melvin and me. I'm going to focus my attention on the pictures right now. This is a cake, but are they using cake batter or are they using something else? Something else. I think it's dirt or cement. Dumper Dan is dumping some dirt as fast as he can and they're trying to slide it, but they drop it and it lands all over Melvin. So now I'll read it again and you can listen for those rhyming words. Patty cake, patty cake, dumper Dan. Dump me some dirt as fast as you can. Slide it and drop it and mark it DD and pile it in the lot for Melvin and me. What are the rhyming words, friends? Good. Did you say can and Dan? DD, me. Well done. We're still thinking and talking about how people and things get from here to there. This week, our question is what kinds of work do trains do? Let's watch our video to find out more about our question. What kind of work do trains do? Trains run on tracks all over the United States and the world, and they have important jobs to do. Lots of people depend on trains to take them places. Passenger trains carry people to work and sometimes they carry them to vacation spots, like to the mountains. Some trains carry just freight. You might see them chugging through valleys, pulling dozens of cars loaded with all sorts of things. Some freight trains even carry cars. When trains are resting or turning around, you can find them in the train yard or in the roundhouse. This week, you will learn how trains help people and goods get from place to place. What kind of work do you think trains do? Friends, our amazing words this week. Say them after I say them. Engine, tracks, passengers, roundhouse, mountain, valley. So today in the amazing word song, you're going to listen to the word engine and tracks. When you hear engine and tracks, clap your hands. Ready? Ears listening. <laughs> On the tracks to the mountain, chugged a train so sweet, taking toys to the valley for young ones to meet. Along came passengers on a fast moving train. They returned to the roundhouse, too busy. A small engine came by and helped in her way to bring toys to the children on this happy day.
Well done. Engine. An engine is part of the train that works the hardest. It makes the power to turn the wheels. What is our new amazing word for the hardest part of the train? Say it with me, engine. This new engine helps the train. What is something else that has an engine? You're right, trucks, cars, helicopters, yes. Tracks, a train travels on tracks. Train tracks are special rails that keep the wheels of the train in place. What is our new amazing word for the special rails on which a train travels? Say it with me, tracks. Train tracks are built one piece at a time. It took a long time to make enough tracks to go over a mountain. So if you have your eyes watching the picture, do you see each piece of wood that goes across? That has to be put down one piece at a time. It's a big project. Here's your ears listening test, friends. The blank pulls or pushes the other train cars. The blank pulls or pushes the other train cars. If you've said engine, give yourself one Hip, hip, hooray, cheer. Hip, hip, hooray. The train travels on blank. The train travels on blank. If you said tracks, give yourself a golf gallery clap. Well done. Let's review our sounds first. We're still focusing on the sound of letter U. Show and tell me that sound, please. Uh. Uh, uh. What is the middle sound in duck? Uh, uh, uh. Beginning sound in uh, 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 uh. Middle sound in bus. Uh, uh, uh. Here's our picture again. Let's have our eyes watching and focus attention. Here's the umbrella. Uh, uh, umbrella. Let's see, I'm trying to find another object that has the uh sound. You tell me yes, yes, or no way. Train, no way. Sun, yes, yes. Water, no way. Bug, yes, yes. Bus, yes, yes. Good listening ears. Our game this week, friends, we're going to continue changing letters and words to make new words. Eyes watching, ears listening. I have the word t a g. The middle sound is u. What happens if we change u to a tug tag? Tug. Tug, tag. Next, I have the word rug. Rug. If I change U to A, what's the new word? Rug, rag. Next, I have the word b -i -g, big. If I change I to U, what's the new word? Big, bug. D -a -k, duck. Change U to O. Duck, dock. F -a -n, fan. Change A to U. Fan, fun. H -i -m, him. Change I to A. Him. Ham. Ham. Change A to U. Ham. Hum. So friends, please remember that letter U has two sounds, a short sound and a long sound, as in the word tub, 
tube, tub, tube. Well done. Let's review our letters. Show and tell me this letter, please. R, D, A, N, M, B, F, J, G, S. Well done, friends. Thank you for getting ready to read with me today. Remember, stay healthy, helpful, and calm. See you soon.